Zach here, welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. In this episode of Printed, I'm going to be making a uh, pumpkin, essentially, and added some like, electronics to it, just to kind of spruce it up and give it a old decoration, a new uh, technology-based spin. Uh, it's going to be using the same lighting sketch uh, that I used in the LED uh, live sign, uh, and using that and making a... 3D printed a little flame housing. It's probably just gonna be kind of like a 2D drawing, kind of extruded out, uh, just kind of give something a little bit cool uh, and make it look like it's um, somewhat of like a flame and just have it a, a uh, pretty thin so that it just houses the electronics. I had originally wanted to uh, add a speaker to it, but I kind of dropped the ball, didn't get the speaker stuff ordered, and it got delayed and just about a week before Halloween right now, uh, so there's no way it's going to be coming in quick enough for me to finish the project with it as the project. So I was going to have like a little motion sensor, and whenever someone approached it, it would make spooky sounds and so on and so forth. Uh, but it doesn't look like this project is going to entail all that, um, at least not this iteration of it. Uh, so without further delay, let's get started. So I'm just going to make a simple uh, flame kind of 2D shape, uh, just real quick. I'm just going to draw a guideline, uh, just so I have about, I want it to be about 1.5 inches tall. Uh, just so I have some type of guide um, to what kind of space I am in. So right now I'm just kind of following a little pattern uh, of just going up higher uh, and to the left of the point and then the second, the inside of the arc, just not going about halfway down and uh, just trying to make a little, little flame. So, and I'm probably just gonna do one more that kind of extends past my guideline Gonna kind of have a little tall, overarching uh, flame, and now we're gonna start going down the other side. Uh, not really liking this way that it was kind of ending up. There we go. Looks like it. And I think about one more on this side should finish us up. Go ahead and undo those two. Let's just try this finishing that out. There we go. That looks a lot better than trying to get another flame in there, actually. Um, I actually might try doing something like that. Just kind of flare it out on this side, too. Could have actually ended up looking pretty good. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go ahead and trim that. Uh, 
Okay, and let's go ahead and actually that is not really good. Do that like that. And go ahead and ridge our bottom so we can extrude this. Uh, let's do it one inch. Okay, so we've got a pretty good 2D flame. Uh, what I'm going to do now, though, uh, is I'm going to um, start a new sketch again. And this time I'm going to uh, going to just do another little quick uh, kind of copying after this pattern, but not quite. I don't want it to be a hundred percent copy. I just don't want it to be like a one to one, but just a little bit rough sketch off of this. And let's go ahead and finish that out. And let's go ahead and there we go. Let's do that at point two five. Just kind of uh, smooth the uh, joint between those two angles. And then I'm going to go ahead and extrude this one about a half an inch. Uh, just give it a little bit more of a um, simple 2D image. Uh, now my distance is going to be important here. That's still two inches uh, wide. And it's going to be about an inch and a half long. Uh, I do want it to be just a tad a uh, bit bigger um, so I have a little bit more room for the uh, LED bar. I'm thinking that if the entire pro trinket and everything will fit in here I can have uh, that actually just have extended wires that stick through like a little hole in the back of the pumpkin and have the pro trinket and the battery pack be behind the pumpkin so you have a very minimal uh, showing. Um, so actually what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a plane that is offset from that one uh, point 0.1, that, which is the thickness I want it to be, uh, but I want it offset into it at a negative point 0.1. And then I'm going to start a 2D sketch and uh, going to kind of mirror this again. Uh, as close as I can on, on this one now uh, because on this one I am trying to just make that a really thin uh, cell wall now uh, so that these do not let off a bunch of light or so they, so they let off a bunch of light actually. I'm not really sure how this is going to 3D print. Um, it might be a pretty big challenge to actually 3D print these. But we're going to give it a try. Alright, let's go ahead and find our two invoice. Okay, and now we're going to extrude that. And we're just going to extrude it all the way through. Uh, it'll be 1.3. I'm going to cut it. And now we see that it's kind of cut out 
uh, it's cut out good inside the, the little one, of course. And then you get to the big one, it's not cut out all the way. So then we have to do a new sketch on this one and essentially do the same thing for it. But on this one, we're just going to extrude it uh, 0.8. So I actually need to kill that sketch. And do a plane offset, um, negative 0.1 again. start to sketch and do my best to kind of replicate this uh, system that, or the design I have here I don't know why I started this in the middle it actually makes it harder my interior point I'm thinking if I print it with this side down uh, that it might actually print decent yeah that didn't fall at all darn auto snap So that's going to be my uh, plan is to just print it with this side down uh, and I should have actually, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm probably just going to cut it both ways and just go ahead and eliminate this. I should have just started it right on this plan like I did, had it originally uh, because I don't want this back on there at all. Otherwise, I'm just going to cut a little hole in the back for a... Uh, for the LED uh, strip to come through, so I may as well just leave the whole back off because this back is going to be facing the back of the pumpkin, so it's not going to matter if you uh, if if there's a hole in it, anyways. All right, let's try to find our part down here. All right, and let's see. I should be able to turn this solid off and see my second sketch. Ah, there we go. We got a little bit too much extra. Alright, let's see if it let me extrude it now. New, yeah, okay. So let's run our sketch doctor on it. I probably just have a point that is not touching. All right, um, looks like we got at least one there. All right, there's one more. Okay, and now we should be able to extrude this. Okay, now we need to turn the visibility of our solid back on. 
and we want to uh, go 0.9 in that direction, so we'll do 1.8 and do split it in the middle and go both the directions. Uh, that way we get, um, go ahead and cut this back out. So we're going to cut in both directions and we want to do 1.8 and that should not cut this face off and it does. One point six. Um, it's point one inside, and that was a whole inch. Okay, we'll go with it. The point one might be a little too thick. I don't know why I was thinking 0.9, because you want to leave a 0.1 there, so yeah, 0.8 is right, so 1.6 total. Um, I'm not really sure I want it that darn thick. But I'll go ahead and leave it. Um, now I do know, whenever I did this extrusion right here, if it will let me go back and do it as a new solid, that'd be awesome. All right. Uh, and then we can see. That one. Um, I do it on that solid. Okay. And I got the profile I want. Uh, so I'm going to do this little front solid right here. Uh, solid two as yellow uh, and then do the larger background flame as like an orange uh, just to give that kind of uh, you know when like the, you when you're looking at flame uh, the farther away are from the source uh, it's always like a uh, orangish or goes to red uh, just kind of give that appearance so it, it looks pretty good uh, just for a, a you know a quick enclosure uh, we'll see how good the LED actually lights it. Um, I plan on kind of using that kind of like a somewhat like a cookie cutter and kind of push it into the uh, side of the pumpkin so it stays in there pretty good. Uh, then have cut a little hole to stick the wire, the LED bar and the wire through, and then have the um, the uh, Arduino or whatever and the power source on the outside of the pumpkin from the behind. Uh, so I'll probably actually print a couple of these for the different pumpkins uh, and uh, show at the end of this video kind of the final product and how it looks when it's all together. Uh, if by chance these sound stuff gets here, that'd be amazing. Uh, but at this point, um, I'm planning on just having lighting effects going on. So let's get the printing. All right, so we are now ready to start the printing process of this project. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, turn off the visibility of one of these objects and uh, export this as an STL. Uh, I'm going to call this flame front. And then do the opposite. And then export this as an STL2. And this will be flame uh, rear. Alright, so um, we're now ready. Uh, to load up Simplify 3D. I will save that though. And uh, the Minecraft. All right, so I have Simplify 3D uh, loaded, and now we're ready to import our two parts. Uh, so I'll go ahead and open those, uh, and then I will see. We want to rotate these 90 degrees so they're standing up. Oh, no, that's the way I want them. Yeah, that's the way I want them. Let's cancel that order. All right, so let's go ahead and look 
at a better angle where that is. And let's go ahead and zero it out and see approximately where it gets put. So let's do 20, negative 20, and a negative 20 there too. And that's pretty close to uh, centered. So let's go ahead and say done with that. And let's enter the exact same dimensions and we should have this uh, lined up pretty good and ready to rock and roll. All right, let's look at that. Uh, I know this will print really good uh, because it's just straight walls as far as the printer's uh, concerned going up. I mean, there's curves and stuff. That shouldn't be a problem at all. Uh, where that at, where it comes out, it might have a little bit of issue, but as long as that builds pretty good, the yellow should um, do pretty good then. Uh, so we'll go ahead and stick with that. Actually, with having that selected, it actually gives you a very good uh, ideal idea of what you're actually going to be seeing. So it's actually very um, fortunate. Uh, that it kind of does that or that the, the colors that it's actually showing um, So like it's kind of what we'll be looking at when it's done printing uh, Just in in 3d uh, so I think it's gonna look pretty cool um, Should do definitely what I was intended to do with it uh, so Let's go ahead and um, prepare this for um, dual extrusion and got it ready and let's go ahead prepare to print select all uh, then show this hmm I don't oh wait is that okay that isn't directly on the other flame okay I was going to say I thought the um, the color shield was directly on the uh, other other part but it, it's not um, so it shouldn't fuse to it at all uh, so I think that's pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and just save this for printing and we will call this flame. All right, so it is now ready for printing. Uh, I'll get it on the printer and we'll do a quick time lapse of that. So uh, let's get going. All right, so uh, you can see in the little uh, webcam overlay, uh, the kind of the, the sped up print process. But here I have the finalized product. Uh, in the video playback, I can see it looks kind of blown out. Uh, like, in, for instance, where it looks white coming through. I can't really see that in real life. Uh, the lighting is kind of getting uh, blown out of proportion. And it actually looks pretty dang legit. But it kind of gives you an ideal, uh, idea of what this project looks like. So I'm pretty happy. I was actually pretty impressed with how it looks. Um, and I really wish the camera would show exactly how I'm seeing it, but it's uh, I really liked how it turned out. But how about how how does it look like in a pumpkin? Well, it looks pretty dang cool there too. So uh, I was kind of disappointed uh, when I didn't get the speaker stuff in uh, quick enough. Uh, but after seeing this, I was actually ended up being pretty happy with this project. So assuming I can pick this up without destroying everything, the world. Try to get the angle in there. So you can see, uh, you can see in the video that there's a hole kind of up higher. I drill, end up drilling a hole through the pumpkin, and uh, well, for some reason I drilled way too high. My aim was off. Uh, and ended up getting uh, way too high that the LEDs was uh, holding the 
3D printed flame up too high. Um, so as you can hopefully see, uh, this is a little kind of little owl carved into the pumpkin, um, and uh, LED lighting uh, effect is going on. So I will hit the lights real quick. So the footage with the lights off didn't really work too well. Um, it blew this out way too much. I'm going to try with uh, instead of with the webcam trying to get the footage. I'm going to try with a real camera to try to get some footage of this with the lights off or at least in a darker environment. Uh, with hopefully without um, over uh, bleeding, making the lights over bleed way too much and trying to get some legit footage of this. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. The lighting is on par uh, with what I had imagined and beyond. Uh, I would have liked to still have the uh, sound effects with the motion detecting, so just add that little extra um, spin on it. But the actual lighting and the, that atmospheric effect actually turned out a lot better than I originally planned so I am happy with this. Um, as for as far as the print itself uh, you can see that it turned out pretty good. Uh, there's a little bit of you know cobwebby stuff around the outside. Uh, on the inside there's a lot of overhang. Uh, the flash forge doesn't do big open areas like this uh, down here and where these overhangs are, these bridges, as uh, they're commonly called, uh, where there's no nothing really that they're leading to, or it's not really even a bridge, I guess, because uh, normally that's where you have joining two parts across. Uh, so it wasn't something that was super easy for the printer to print, so it kind of had a little stringy down there, uh, because literally the orange flame uh, was just going out to nothing, and it did pretty good, though, for th that aspect. From the front, you can't really even tell that the uh, th um, overall part was kind of stringy uh, and hanging down on the inside. So it kind of built upon those kind of wavy layers and got a very solid front after that. So it's kind of good that I had that front a little thicker uh, because it compensated for that uh, non-optimal uh, uh, printing uh, surface. All right, so uh, that's pretty much it for this project. Um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video if you thought it was interesting. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for all the great videos that uh, I'll be putting out. As well as checking all the links in the description uh, for links to our MZ uh, community. As well as the Twitter uh, profile for Thought Provoking Tech. Uh, as well as all different kinds of links for uh, music and so on and so forth. So uh, thanks for watching.